Norway, a country of stunning scenery, 24-hour daylight, world leader in renewable energy, EV adoption, and top-notch cinnamon buns. It's well known that Norway is not a cheap place to visit. Our honeymoon seemed the perfect excuse to splash out and visit this special country. We were keen for our journey to be as low carbon as possible. We chose to travel overland by train from North Wales to Oslo. somewhere you wouldn't necessarily go to so it's really interesting um, and we've got about uh, three hours here before we get a train onwards to the harbour this is a fantastic outdoor swimming area um, which is uh, really nice and uh, just noticed over here we've got an um, electric boat rental from what I've seen of Copenhagen it's a fantastic uh, fantastic city so many people are on bikes everywhere um, getting around and loads of EVs, loads of EVs, sort of car share schemes. Um, yeah, really cool, really cool city. Right, let's go for a swim. Feeling refreshed? Who <laughs> <laughs> comes when they train jetties? <laughs> Nicely done. In Norway, over 50% of all new car sales are electric. Hiring an electric car was the obvious choice. In Oslo, we hired a 2014 Tesla Model S Classic 85 from a peer-to-peer -peer rental service. The Model S had done over 80,000 miles, but still drove beautifully and had a fantastic range. What do you think of the high car? It's big. <laughs> big and black. Electric. So since we picked up the car, we've done a total of 223 kilometres so far, with 140 remaining. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty decent range from this uh, 2014 Classic S85. What a stunning, what a stunning place, stunning scenery. Since Norway generates over 98% of its electrical energy. From renewable sources, mainly hydro. This meant our electric car trip around the country was almost fully zero carbon. Driving an electric car in Norway is very cost effective. We benefited from free tolls, free parking, and half price ferries. The Tesla came with free unlimited supercharging allowing us to drive 2,000 miles around Norway without spending a penny. To further increase economy and convenience, we slept in the car for almost every night of our two-week trip. It was warm, comfortable, and allowed us to wake up in some very beautiful places. Now been sleeping, sleeping in the Tesla for about 13 days, just over two weeks, and uh, this could be, be the last night. But what a place, bro! As long as Chris and Jen can find somewhere flat to put their tent. <laughs> the Tesla's been amazing. We've been touring around Norway, 
Should we see how many? Should we see how many kilometres we've done? So we're not back to Oslo yet. We've probably got another seven hours of driving tomorrow. So we've currently done uh, two and a half, two thousand six hundred kilometer, kilometers. And we've got a bit more driving to do uh, to get to Oslo tomorrow. Zoom out. There we go. That's where we're going tomorrow. Oslo. So we'll probably have maybe one or two supercharger stops. It's just amazing the range on this car. Okay, we're back at Nibini's supercharger and it is still hot, really hot. So we've been cleaning the car, before we drop it off. But there's even more Teslas here than before. It's a 30 bay supercharger and 18 out of the 30 bays are currently in use by Teslas. So there is a lot of Teslas here right now, sucking a lot of juice. 18 of them, in fact, and one has just left. Let's see what sort of speed we're getting. So even with 18 cars, charging um, we're still getting 118 kilowatts so that is a lot of power to be able to supply that to 30 30 stores right better give this uh, Tesla a final wipe down before we uh, before we drop it off just doing a little bit of repacking just done some hoovering give it give it a final wipe down and uh, take it back to Oslo to the end of our trip um, it's been a great trip showing around the way um, Tesla Lots of climbing, walking, boating. Alright, made it to the top. <laughs> 